In this video, I'm going to share 10 common mistakes I see wedding photographers make all the time. The first mistake I see wedding photographers make is their response time to inquiries. Make sure you answer those emails within 24 hours. With that in mind, do make sure not to answer after hours or over weekends because that will set a standard for the rest of your journey with that client. Also, when you reply to that email, make sure you give a good impression because first impressions last. So the second mistake I see wedding photographers make all the time is not having a contract. It is very important that you have a contract set up by a professional lawyer. It has happened to me before that I had an instance where a couple broke up three days before their wedding day and wanted their money back. But my contract states that their booking fee is not refundable, especially three days before the wedding and therefore I did not have to refund them. Don't put yourself in a place where you need to refund the client because you did not have a contract. The wedding day is not about you, it's about the couple, their family and friends, and the beautiful event happening on that day. Make sure that they have fun. Don't go out to get the portfolio shot, don't go out and make it a photo shoot for them. Go out and give them a brilliant experience serves them. For example, when the bride gets to the front of the aisle and the bridesmaid doesn't fix the dress, be the one that fixes that dress. Guess what? Everyone else in that church will see it and it's great marketing for you. It's like, oh, the photographer fixed the dress. I do it, but I do it because I want to, not because I want that good marketing. The good marketing comes by itself. Another example is to serve the people around you. Maybe the wedding planner wanting to move a table for the cake. When the wedding planner brings out the table for the cutting of the cake, be the one to help her to carry that table. One more example would be if the bride needs a chair to stand on so the groom can remove the guards and be the one to get the chair. Also be the one to remove the chair. Again, everyone will see it. A lack of guidance is another mistake I see wedding photographers make all the time. You need to guide your clients. Communication is key. Tell the client to walk to a certain spot. When they get there, they can kiss or they can come back. And while they're walking back, they can kiss or hug or get into a position where they're just comfortable holding each other. They can even make a dance move, but it's all about guiding them. And in that guidance and confidence that you show, they will get confidence and the beautiful shots you want will come from that. The next mistake wedding photographers make, and for me, this is a big, big mistake is to only shoot with one memory card. Make sure to shoot with two memory cards so that you have an immediate backup. The past weekend, and I'm not lying, this literally happened, I can actually show you. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna show you the card. It's in here, I'm actually sending it back because over the past weekend, it happened that I shot the wedding, got home, downloaded the cards and the one card failed. Luckily, I shot to two cards and for that reason, the footage was not lost because I had the backup. Backup gear is another thing that is super important for a wedding photographer. What happens if you buy a camera today and you rock up at the wedding on Saturday, shoot it halfway through and the camera fails and you have to tell the couple, sorry, my camera broke, I can't continue shooting. Does it happen? For sure it happens. You need a backup camera, backup lens, backup flash and backup cards backup batteries for that matter. Make sure you're professional and get those backup gear in place. Bonus tip time and it's all about timeline. It's very important for you to have a good timeline with your couple. I have a Zoom meeting or WhatsApp call with every single couple of mine. And in that meeting, I will give them a couple of tips. We'll get to know each other, but most importantly, we'll talk about the timeline of the day. Your couple doesn't necessarily know what time the sun is setting, but you want to shoot at golden hour, tell them what time the sun is setting and what time you want that couple shoot. And then work the whole day backwards to a point where you can tell them when the groom is getting dressed, the bride is getting dressed, what time the ceremony is, all the way to when the first dance needs to be. Thank me for that one later. The next mistake goes without saying, you cannot only use one hard drive for all your photo shoots, you need a backup drive. Guys, please back up your work for your sake as well as your clients. Weddings are the best place to build a network. Whether you build the network with the florist, the wedding planner, the venue, or perhaps even guests that are there. After the wedding, make sure to send some photos to the wedding planner or the makeup artist or whoever's at the wedding. Serving them and giving them the opportunity to market their business will at the end bring work back 
for you. Not having insurance is a big mistake wedding photographers make all the time. Things like gear insurance as well as liability insurance. I've seen photography businesses closed down because they didn't have insurance. Make sure to get a good insurance company so that you can have peace of mind. If something happens, you are insured and your business can continue. The last mistake I see a lot of wedding photographers make is not having a good CRM, Client Relation Manager. I use Studio Ninja and it has absolutely changed my life. I communicate with my clients better. I can communicate faster in a more professional manner by sending online contracts for them to sign online so they don't have to print it and sign it by hand. I cannot make a double booking because the client relation manager will tell me if I'm about to make the double booking. The communication and professionalism of a CRM will take your business to the next level.